hi everyone in this video you are going to learn about the expression for the percentage tilt calculation what do you mean by percentage tilt what do you mean by tilt actually tilt generally occurs in high pass filter in the low pass filter we have calculated the rise time how much is the time taken by the capacitor to charge from 10 percent to 90 percent of the maximum value that we have calculated in terms of rise time but here in the case of high pass filter the capacity is uh, not we are not uh, considering the capacitor voltage in the output we are calculating the output across resistor so capacitor charges means output discharges discharges if in the case if rc is very much greater than the input signal time period then capacitor takes very long time to charge so the output reaches the steady state after very long time that's why there is a just a small deviation from the input to the output this is the input waveform it is a square waveform and here also we are having like this see this particular part whatever it is shown as a tilt here in this waveform this particular part is known as tilt this is the amount of deviation occurs between the input and output here also in the negative sides it is the deviation now this deviation in the positive side we are treating it as a tilt <coughs> tilt so this tilt we are going to calculate what is the amount of percentage tilt that has been occurred in the output waveform okay hope you understand what do you mean by tilt but whereas in the case of low pass rc circuit we have not encountered this tilt we have faced rise time because the output starts from zero and trying to reach up to the maximum value so there we have to calculate rise time here we are calculating tilt don't confuse in ex exams okay for high pass rc circuit we have to calculate tilt now and one more thing is we have to calculate tilt tilt can be calculated tilt can be percentage tilt can be calculated in high pass rc circuit high pass rc network when rc is less sorry rc is greater than greater than t rc is very much far greater than t then only we can calculate this otherwise this percentage still cannot be calculated so okay now we have to take a square waveform at the input and assume a condition that the square waveform is a symmetrical waveform symmetrical means both the off period and on period is, e is equal and the positive peak is also assumed to be equal to the amount of negative peak okay so for a symmetrical square waveform square wave with zero average value zero average value what do you mean by zero average value positive peak is equal to the amount of negative peak zero average value means suppose if you are having a square waveform like this okay so this particular value whatever the value we have here this particular value is equal to this negative peak value okay that is in terms of amplitude that is with a zero average value so this positive peak minus negative peak is equal to zero and symmetrical waveform means on period is equal to this particular off period okay in these two conditions we are assuming a square waveform such that v1 is equal to minus v2 so v1 is the positive peak and v2 is the negative peak here v1 is equal to minus v2 or we can write it as in modulus v1 is equal to mod v2 similarly v1 dash is equal to minus v2 dash what do you mean by v1 dash and v2 dash these are the instance of the waveform at a different value see here v1 v1 dash v2 v2 dash Hope you understand from this waveform v1 is the instant here and v1 dash is the instant after tilting and v2 is the instant after taking this much of input voltage v volts down and v2 dash is the again after tilting 
okay so v1 dash is equal to minus v2 dash here also we can write it as v1 dash is equal to mod v2 and v1 dash is equal to mod v2 dash here also it is dash and for a symmetrical waveform t1 is equal to t2 is equal to t by 2 for half of the cycle the output waveform the output waveform for what is the condition rc must be greater than greater than t is v1 dash is equal to v1 e power minus t by 2 rc we have already calculated this type of expression in the previous cases see how we have got this one v final minus v final minus v initial t power minus t by rc the same expression i have taken here for the writing the output voltage equation v1 dash okay at particular time t is equal to t by 2 we have taken it as v1 dash okay if you want i will uh, write here how we have got this one proof uh, v naught of t generally is equal to v final minus v final minus v initial into e power minus t by rc okay what is the final value here what is the initial value and here the final value is v, uh, final value is something like zero okay initial value is v1 okay so final value is equal to zero initial value is v1 initial value is v1 and at t is equal to t by 2 half of the sine wave form at t is equal to t by 2 means here here see here clearly at t, t is equal to t by 2 what is the output voltage v1 dash so v naught of t is equal to v1 dash so we can substitute directly v1 dash is equal to v final minus v final minus v initial into e power minus t by rc so it is 0 and again it is 0 and again initial value what is initial value that is v1 so v1 into e power minus t by rc t is nothing but t by 2 so it is 0 v final minus v final minus v initial value is nothing but v1 into e power minus t by 2 rc so that is equal to v1 e power minus t by 2 rc this is v1 dash this is what we have written directly here okay now and similarly i am not calculating the second one similarly v2 dash is equal to v2 into e power minus t by 2 rc now v1 minus v2 dash is equal to v see here from the waveform v1 v1 minus v is equal to v2 dash here from here to here see from here to here what is the height difference between these two points v1 and v2 dash it is v volts so that is what written here v1 dash v1 minus v2 dash is equal to v so v1 minus what is v2 dash v2 into e power minus t by 2 rc that is equal to what is v v is v1 plus v1 into e power minus t by 2 rc that is equal to v now v1 is equal to if you take it as common and uh, just manipulating minus t by 2 rc or we can also write it as v is equal to v1 into 1 minus 1 plus e power minus t by 2 rc now percentage tilt can be calculated percentage tilt indicated by p is equal to v1 minus v1 dash by v by 2 average voltage v1 minus v1 dash by v by 2 into 100 so that is equal to 
v1 minus v1 dash is nothing but v1 into e power minus t by 2 or c divided by v1 into 1 minus e power minus t by 2 or c okay v by 2 v by 2 so it becomes 2 into 100 so 200 percent okay now it is plus what we have got here v is equal to something like see v is equal to this one you can write it as v is equal to v1 into 1 plus e power minus t by 2 rc so this one next so take v1 in the denominator is also common then 1 minus e power minus t by 2 rc divided by 1 plus e power minus t by 2 rc into 200 percent this is what the percentage tilt okay further we can simplify as rc condition is very very far compared to t as we know rc is far greater compared to t we can write it as t by 2 t by rc is less less than less than 1 can we write it like this okay if you take this t on the left hand side or rc on the right hand side the other part will be one only okay that's why t by 2 rc is always less than 1 now what is the value of p p is equal to here this is nothing but p p is equal to 1 minus e power minus t by 2 rc and here 1 plus e power minus t by 2 rc it is 1 minus e power x by 1 plus e power x this exponential term we can expand it like this um, p is equal to 1 minus of 1 plus so take this as minus t 1 minus t 2 rc and it is minus t whole square 2 rc square into 1 by 2 factorial and so on here also in the denominator expand the exponential form 1 plus 1 plus minus t by 2 rc plus minus t whole square by 2 rc into 2 factorial here 2 rc is also having square root this is all into 200 percent now see here 1 minus 1 cancel minus of minus this plus and all higher order terms we can neglect because rc t by 2 rc value is very small so normal value is small but if you square it definitely the resultant value will be very small okay so as the rc is very uh, high and it is in the denominator value definitely t by 2 rc is always less than less than unity okay that's why you can write it as t by 2 rc alone because 1 minus 1 cancel and remaining terms are higher order terms we can neglect them divided by here also t by 2 rc we can neglect from here onwards neglect from here onwards here neglect from here onwards so 1 plus 1 is 2 into 200 percent now if you just rewrite this again to 200 percent 100 percent so we can write it as t by 2 rc into 100 percent it is percentage tilt now we know fl is equal to 1 by 2 pi rc so rc is equal to 1 by 2 pi fl substitute this value here t by 2 rc therefore percentage tilt p is equal to t by what is that t by 2 rc t by 2 into what is rc 1 by 2 pi fl into 200 percent 200 or 100 100 percent sorry 100 percent 
so 2 2 cancel and pi goes in the numerator pi fl by t we can write it as 1 by phi 1 by f so 1 by frequency so 1 by f into 100 percent this is the percentage tilt calculation in the high pass filter okay in the high pass filter high pass filter only supports this particular action what is that tilt but low pass filter we don't have that tilt we have to calculate right time okay so this is the way to calculate the percentage tilt thank you